been watching our cruise. Egypt enjoys various fields of tourism attraction. The most important are archaeological or cultural uh, tourism as one of the oldest types of tourism in Egypt, where the landmarks of the ancient civilizations are visible to the naked eye. And incarnation of the nations that constructed these civilizations since the dawn of history. We'll be discussing more about tourism and the culture of tourism in Egypt with the tourism expert and the member of the General Assembly of the Egyptian Travel Agents Association, Mr. Tariq Musa. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tariq. Well, to start off, of course, um, Egypt offers a very rich cultural experience that spans through thousands of years um, of history and the continuous uh, practice of old traditions. Um, what are the main features, if you can tell us a little bit about these cultural traditions? Cultural tourism is very important, and the fair, the pharaonic culture, it, that makes Egypt different from any other destination in the world. Also, we have the Greco-Roman, the Coptic civilization, and the Islamic civilization. Mm -hmm. So that makes all this whole combination make Egypt very, very nice attractive culture. as a culture to, to bring the international tourists here and visit it and start 10 days and cover the whole area mm -hmm. and you cannot find this whole combination in one country of the world. Absolutely. Yes, uh, uh, the, uh, speaking about the current, maybe if we dig down to the beauty of Egypt and uh, uh, the current state when it comes to uh, how Egypt and the promotion of tourism, of cultural tourism in specific in Egypt, with the current state, with the turmoil and everything, how are you seeing it today? Lots of work needs to be done in this area. With still, the overseas offices are not doing a great job since our great revolution last year. There has been negative image on Egypt. Private companies worked hard and were attending private shows and trade shows to show that Egypt is safe. You cannot go outside and just say Egypt is safe. We're not supposed to say Egypt is safe. Pe the world has to see and view see Egypt it. as a safe destination. Then when they see reports and they see the tourists are coming back, then they will consider it as a safe country. And some uh, countries like West Europe have lifted the travel ban on some places in Egypt, such as Luxor, Aswan, Sharm el Sheikh, and Hazar. Still not in Cairo, but hopefully that will change soon and will bring more tourists back to our destination. Well, uh, Mr. Tarek, 2014 has been set as the year of the Egyptian tourism in the Gulf region. Uh, what is, uh, in your opinion, the favorite destination of the Arab tourists in Egypt? Recently, Sharm el Sheikh, uh, because of the new direct flight from Jeddah to Sharm el Sheikh okay. direct flights, also from Amman and Jordan to Sharm el Sheikh, so that, they this, that has changed. Previously, the Arabs loved just coming to Cairo. They still do, because uh, simply, they f when they come to Cairo, they feel like being at home. Mm -hmm. But the Sharm el Sheikh is the main destination they're coming to at the moment. So Do you think it was affected this year with the, you know, shortage in electricity and uh yes it's definitely it's increased the hotels in cairo uh, they have the, the more arab tourists at the moment they're not full as it used to be many years ago but it's much better than last year and that no actually the last three and a half years mm -hmm. and you're, talk, you're talking a big higher percentage of occupation at mo many cairo hotels and now the new thing is also more arabs are visiting sharm el sheikh and hazard and, and they're loving it mm -hmm. perfect so what are the ongoing initiatives to promote cultural tourism that is going on maybe uh, by the various associations in Egypt, by the various uh, mm. companies and travel agents? What's happening now is not, it's not really enough. We cannot count anymore on just travel and trade shows. The social media is quite important to promote Egypt. Also our overseas offices, they, they're not promoting Egypt properly. We need to we need to introduce the new ex the services we're offering now and the starting of hotels that, sh that show Egypt has maktab from the five star to the three star and as a, de as a destination. So lots of work needs to be done in this area. I know the Minister of, Minister of Tourism is very keen on promoting Egypt from all aspects, the cultural tourism and also the beach resorts. The beach resorts are doing okay now but not yet for the cultural tourism. So we have to count more on the social media because the, the traditional way of marking Egypt is not... Is not How, in what, in what sense can we use the social uh, networks in uh, promoting tourism in Egypt? Well, my, 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 things like Facebook and you know, YouTube, 
I'll give you an example. Yeah, three, three months ago, and we, we met an expert who came and gave us a, a educational on how to promote, you know, travel business and all of this. And an American traveler went to Uganda for gorilla tricking, and he just took a video for three minutes, amazing video. He paid for this permit, $1,000 a day, and he waited for a year to get this permit. Wow. And with this three minutes, 60 million viewers looked at this, that's free. That didn't cost them anything. Just was put on YouTube, and 60 million people so viewed it. It is and a very fast. Uganda benefited from it. That's okay. that's doesn't cost no overseas offices, no staff working on it, okay. nothing. It's just it's basically the social media. And despite yeah. the bureaucratic process they had, you still benefit from yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and there is m there are many people at the Ministry of Tourism. I know I'm aware of. They are very keen to do lots of work, but I think they're not getting their chances yet because of the bureaucratic system. And I think also there are challenges of this huge situation because no matter what initiatives are done without lifting the travel bans and without having tourism, those initiatives will not come to life uh, in an easy manner and, and gain a lot of promotions. Yeah. Promo promotions, uh, we continue, we're doing promotion year by year now, but that's, that's not what will bring the tourists back. But once the political situation is settled and we are we're nearly there, we're nearly there. We're expecting, like there is forward bookings are showing now for the cultural tourism. Which is actually the most, uh, in my opinion, for the uh, specialized in this field, this is the most important type of tourism. So this tourist who come and visit Cairo, Luxor, and Swan, and do a night cruise, benefit everybody working in tourism and 70 other industries. Yes. You know, when he goes and rides the camel at the pyramids, and you know, this, uh, the drive he uses the, the, ca the company car, you know, the driver, the guide, everybody goes to Camel Khalili, buy cotton, buy t shirt, everybody so benefits. Everybody benefits from, especially the cultural tourism. That needs more work and more out-of-the-box ideas on how to bring these tourists back. So as an expert and an observer of the tourism industry, uh, across, you know, ever since the 25th of January revolution, how, how do you see tourism? Which year or which period was really doing better than now, or is it now the peak time across these two years? Now, 2011 were not too bad. It wasn't too bad this year. 12 and 13 started to pick up until the revolution happened, and then there was a huge drop because mm -hmm. of what happened. Okay. But we, we had hopes it will change, and it's, it's, it's coming since we had a new president now, and things are looking more positive. Soon we'll have a parliament, and sh positive bookings are showing from January 2015. You know, it's not. I will be very happy if we get 25% of the tourists we had in 2010. We'll be more than happy with it because we have to. Quarter of 2010 will make everybody happy.